Brother Chang here with a install and review of the Guard Tier uh, Picatinny cable management system. But before we get into that, if you could help us out with that algorithm, hit that subscribe button before we continue. At the end of the video, hit that like button and hit that bell notification icon off to the right so that you can be informed of any new content that we might post. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. I apologize ahead of time. If you hear me suddenly coughing, I have a bit of bronchitis. Uh, you can probably hear it in my voice a little. So some of you may recognize uh, this upper from uh, some other reviews that I did, mainly I'm working here, the uh, REM ACOG. If you haven't seen that, I will put a card to it right up there. <coughs> but I was uh, <laughs> looking at switch management systems for weapon mounted lights on my AR platform and found a company that makes a couple of cable management options. Some that go into, uh, if you can see the product literature here, some that go into uh, M-Lock slots and um, some that go across the Picatinny. Now these slots here may look like M-Lock, but unfortunately the company I made, I bought this from, they made their own proprietary cuts in the carbon fiber. Uh, and I don't really feel like hogging out the holes for M-Lock, so I decided to go with some Picatinny. So they come in two halves. Uh, you have the cable management side, or the cable clip side, and you have the other side here. Uh, this side is threaded, and they come with bolts. Here are the long bolts and an Allen key. So... Um, I like to use the, an Allen bit from my bit driver set. So, um, I'm going to use that instead. Hopefully you guys can see this, but basically all I'm doing is I'm making sure the cable is in that little spot, that little spot right there. It's trapped in there. And these little pieces here should fit right inside the Picatinny rails. Um, now we gotta be careful. The, you guys can see this and get some more light here if we can. This piece right here, this triangular piece, that's gotta go underneath the, uh, the rail portion. So, get that press fit, this side press fit in first and then I can kind of get them sort of made it up and start the start the tightening process. And so I get them finger tight. I have to keep checking, and unfortunately, this upper's a little too long. Um, I'm not really seeing this side the little triangle part here going underneath the rail piece. So for me, this uh, this foreign part, the angles just aren't right. So all I'm doing is really squeezing the wire and this side right here into the side of the forend. Um, so it's holding, but it's slightly crooked. Uh, I don't know that I have another weapon. Mount I actually don't have another weapon mounted light on a more standard mil spec type forend. So at least here, this this does get this stuff out of the way. So I do like it. Um, let me get these all put on. Uh, so that's something just for you all to note. Not sure if you guys can really see that here. But that part right there is not really hooking in to the triangle part here. Or the trapezoidal part here of the rail. Uh, and everything's just getting squished in. So... Uh, may not hold as well as I need to, um, but let me get the rest of these on. I'll come back to you with some 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 extra thoughts. All right, so I'm going to give you some thoughts here as I install this last one here. I really don't need more than than probably two, but for the sake of some extra experience and for the sake of aesthetics, I'm going to put four on here just so it looks a little even. Um, so a couple things to note when you're installing these, the non cable side, you want to get that really shoved into the real spot or the real slot. Um, 
I don't, not sure about using Loctite yet. Um, I'll do a longer term review after I get this out to the range a whole bunch. Got a couple of night courses coming up soon, so I'll need, uh, I'll be using this rifle and another one. And we'll see how these hold up. One thing to note here on the cable clamp side, um, the screw doesn't fit in. You've got to kind of thread it. I don't see any actual threads on the inside, so it's just, it just feels like all of them so far that I've worked with have not been uh, drilled out very well. So um, once that goes through, then you'll be able to go ahead and work on getting this fed in. And like I said, I like using a bit. The uh, Allen key supplied is a little bit wonky to use, but that's just me. Maybe my hands are funny shaped or something like that. So see, I've got to push that through. Like I said, they, they may, may not have drilled that out enough, but once I get the threads to engage, then I can go ahead and start cranking this down. I will put the uh, T-handle on it just to get a little extra torque, but I don't know if you guys can see this side lays flat and the side that's messing with the cables here kind of pulls up. A lot of strain over here. Um, we'll see how this light or this switch unit ends up liking all this tension on the cabling. So there you go. Uh, I figured I'd give this a shot. It's a pretty unique take on cable management if it works out. Uh, or if you'd like to try it yourself, uh, not wait for me. I will uh, put a link to the dis product in the description below. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and help us out with that algorithm and click that bell notification icon off to the right there so that you can be notified of any new content that we might post. Thank you so much for your time. Stay safe, and we will see you out on the range.